Hi folks, welcome to Kuna EXP and welcome to my garage stroke workshop. Now this is the exhaust off my um, scooter. The uh, scooter in question is a Suzuki Bergman and uh, I had the drill earlier. Uh, was this one here and I was wire brushing this down. There was a rusty bit here. There's a rusty bit there and a bit round there. So I've got it bare, down to bare metal and I put a bit of uh, this stuff on, copper grease, because it's going to be sat for a little while yet before we get this bike back on the road. Um, because I've bought another project and that project is taking priority. I'm not revealing that project yet, but uh, if you're a close friend of mine, you will know exactly what that is. So here's the um, bike at the moment. As you can see, it's all in bits. I've got the swinging arm ear off at the moment, the bearings all out, the back wheel off, the brake caliper all, all dangling in the air. Um, this is the, the drive shaft here, as you can see. So I've just put that on it to protect it, basically. I've cleaned the back of the, the engine here. I've got all the crap off it, basically. And, um, so we're getting on with it and we use the new socket set which is uh, just over there as you can see the the reason why all this is off is because the back tire because uh, it's not MOT'd yet folks here's the back wheel the back tire as you can see is bald and I will not pass an MOT with that like that so we should be getting that at the end of this month just before New Year so uh, it's work in progress folks so this is my garage in here and i've got a dehumidifier on folks because it does get damp in here quite a bit sometimes so as you can see look that's the water dripping in this is my car booster uh, the project that i've bought needs to be boosted so uh, i'm charging that up this is the panel of the bike here and uh, this little clip here came off, so I've repaired it. It's 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 almost dry. So, also, folks, I'm I'm into solar, and as you can see, look, this is my solar system. It's in sleep mode right now. It's a bit low because I've I've had the inverter on. This is the inverter here. It's a five thousand. Um, rated at 5000 if you turn it on it makes some sounds and we're producing we've got 12.5 we're at 222 which is pretty darn good now the thing above it that controls my lights out outside i've got solar lights out there as well so this, this is saying 12.6 and that's saying 12.5 so there, this does take a little bit of power from that which is coming from that battery down there folks but this is a, this is going inside the project that I've bought, and uh, that will be going in there soon. So I'll let you all know what the project is in due course, folks. Uh, I'm not revealing it right now because I think it's uh, it's private, really. And I'm keeping it private until I feel that, that I want to share it to everybody. Oh, this is my tent here, damn good tent. This is a 1943 shell casing box or ammo tin original world war ii which i, I rescued that it's fantastic also this is a railway center for lamp which i've had for quite some time and look at it says look british railways western region so probably might end up donating that to the railway at some stage i also have another one here uh here we are I think that says BRW as well. I'm not really sure, does it? Yeah, there you go. Look, BR British Railways Western Region. So I think I might be donating one of these down to the railway at some stage. I'll have to let uh, James know about that, and he can choose which one he wants. It'll probably be this one actually, because this one's more original, more complete, and it works, folks. And it works. Always got a fire extinguisher in your garage. You never know. It's always best to be prepared, folks. Right, so I'm going to sign off now.
so uh, I hope you looked liked the look at um, what we're actually doing in here at the minute it's a little bit chaotic but uh, it does get like that sometimes doesn't it you know when you're doing stuff all right then folks take care and we'll see you on the next video I was going to upload an exploring video today, but I haven't been able to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the railway videos. It was quite uh, spooky down at Halston in the shed there last night. And I think I might have caught paranormal um, presence or whatever. But it has been reported that um, people have seen people down there. And I seen a few months ago somebody down at the platform. And it really did scare the... Uh, scare the uh well not the pants off me but you know what i mean like you know but uh it's very interesting it's only this time of year we really get it down there it's quite strange and uh yeah so we'll, i think we'll end up doing a bit more investigation before too long anyway have a nice day folks i'll speak to you ne very soon indeed next video will be loaded up in the next couple of days anyway take it easy cheers and gone